So in our last lesson, we talked about uh, movies or films. Uh, of course, the difference between movies and films, it's just American English and uh, um, British English. Uh, the Americans call them movies, the Americans say movies, uh, the British say film, it's the same thing, okay? So we talked about different types of film, uh, action films, thrillers, horror films. We also talked about science fiction, cartoons, love stories, comedies, historical dramas, and we learned what each type of film um, is like or what it means. So we did that in our last lesson. And before that, uh, of course, we talked about, uh, this is a bit important, the differences between uh, very really and quite and also too. So uh, we agreed that very and really are the same thing. They're not really different. But of course, <clears throat> quite is a less. So it means not, not very. This is the meaning of quite. So quite means not very. And we also have two. And we agreed that two is more than we want. Uh, it's always a bad thing. If you have two, it's always a bad thing. It's not a good thing to have two. So we talked about this. Uh, we also did the review. And in this lesson, we talked about uh, James Bond. We talked about the writer of James Bond, Ian Fleming. And we, uh, we talked a little bit about the past simple and the negative. So you can make a past simple negative of verb to be using wasn't and weren't. So we did that. And we also talked about the past simple negative of other verbs. Uh, we, we use didn't plus, uh, didn't plus infinitive. So we talked about that. And what else did we talk about? Ah, we also talked about the differences or the similarities really between the writer of uh, the, the James Bond uh, character and the character himself. So there are a lot of, lot of things which are similar. Um, we talked about that. Um, okay, so we, the last thing I remember we finished was exercise nine. Wa alaikum salam. Hello, Basma, how are you today? Um, so, okay, good to have you here. Um, so we talked about number eight, we finished number eight and number seven from the radio interview with uh, with Will Forbes. Of course, Will had or has a book about uh, Ian Fleming, the writer of James Bond. Excuse me. And he said that their lives are quite similar. OK, who can tell me which um, or what thing did you find very surprising? I mean, uh, the similar things between between the writer and the character, between Ian Fleming and James Bond. Which of the similarities do you think are the most surprising, in your opinion? Which one? Uh, what do you think, Silsibi? The, the most uh, surprising thing uh, which is similar. They study in the same school. Yes, that's very interesting, right? That the writer and the character, they studied uh, in the same school. Okay, this is very interesting and maybe a bit surprising. Um, uh -huh, uh, they, uh, and they both are very good at uh, sport. Uh -huh. So they're bo they are both uh, good at sport. Yes. Um, there's, there's an adjective. Um, so when we say someone who is good at sport, there's a word we use for people who are good at sport. We use an adjective, athletic. Have you heard of this adjective, athletic? 
Has anybody heard? Have you seen this word before, athletic? Or is it new? New. Ah, okay. So athletic, it, it has the same meaning as good at sport. So if you say, for example, the Ahmed is athletic, it means he has a good body and he likes to uh, play sport and do exercise. This is the meaning of athletic. So in, in Arabic, what does it mean, athletic? What's the meaning in Arabic? Riyadi. Yes, correct. Athletic, معناها riyadi, شخص محب للرياضة أو جسمه أو جسمها رياضي. This is the meaning, athletic. So James Bond, you can say James Bond and the writer, they were both athletic, they both liked sport and they were both good at sport. Okay, what else? There were four things, right? Which were similar. To work, um, uh, to work for the British uh, secret uh, uh, service. Correct. Both of them worked for the British secret service. And the last thing, what was it? The last similarity. It on the uh, the Navy. Yes, the Navy. they were both. They were both in the Navy, right? Yes. So, yes. Yeah, the writer and the the character James Bond. Mm, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we did this. Uh, uh, yeah. I think uh, the writer wrote uh, about himself, but uh, changed changed uh, some facts. Correct. And this is, uh, by the way, writers do this a lot. A lot of writers do this. They talk about themselves and they change a few things. So this is uh, common for writers. They do it a lot. So I agree, Bessman is right. I think this is what Ian Fleming did. He wrote about himself. He changed the name, maybe, and he made him very strong. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's based on himself. He wrote the character on himself, based on himself. But uh, Basma, do you think it's do you think it's surprising that uh, that the character became very very popular after Ian Will Ian Fleming died, and uh, now there's a whole industry, billions of dollars from James Bond's uh, movies. What do you think of this? Do you think it's a success story for Ian? Ian Fleming? Um, yes, I think yes, but... Uh, uh, he didn't benefit from it because he died. <laughs> yes. He died before all of this happened. But imagine, imagine if he were alive, he would have, he would have been a billionaire if he was... Uh, if he didn't die, I mean, early, because the, like, uh, like the Harry Potter writer, do you know her? Uh, J.K. Rowling. She's now the richest woman in England. <laughs> She's the richest woman in the UK because, because of, the, of the story yeah. that, she, that she wrote. Yeah, yeah and um, most of the money didn't come from the book, the tales of the book. They came from the movies because Mo the yeah movies, the films yeah. make a lot more money, so uh, yeah. so she's very rich because of it. So maybe Ian Fleming, if he were alive, it would be similar. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now let's do a little bit of grammar here in number ten. <clears throat> so uh, if you remember, we we already talked about uh, the negative here in number four, so we can use wasn't or weren't for the negative of uh, verb to be and we can use didn't plus infinitive for all the verbs right so we can say didn't study I didn't study you didn't study we didn't study they didn't study he she it didn't study right so there it's the same for for all the subjects with the with the past simple of course but this time we want to talk a little bit about questions so now I want you to complete these questions using, I want you to complete the gaps using did and uh, didn't, okay? So let's complete the gaps using did and didn't. So let's start here. Rana, how do we make a question here? In the, in the, 
what, what do we put to make a question? He make a lot of money. Yes, he and no, he. Did he we... make? Right, that's right. So did he make a lot of money? And what's the answer? Yes, he did. Right. And uh, the negative? No, he didn't. Correct. Okay, uh, Umnumidia, what about the second question? What do we use to make it a question? This one. Um, <laughs> okay, I can't hear you very well. Hello? Uh, can you speak closer to the microphone, please? Yes. Ah, perfect. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's great. The sound is good. Mm -hmm. Did did they go to the same school? Right. That's it. Did they go to the same school? And what's the answer? Yes. Yes, they, they did. Uh -huh. or no, they didn't. Right. Okay. So you can see that uh, with the past simple yes no questions, it's not very hard. I think it's. I think it's a bit easy, right? So, because it's the same for all the subject, he, she, it, I, you, we, you know, there's no difference. It's not like the, the, the present simple, because with the present simple, there are a few differences. He, she, and it are different from I, you, we, they. But in the past simple, no difference. It's the same. Okay, now I want to take you to exercise 11. Here we have some examples, and we want to put these examples, we want to make them into questions. So we want to put them in the correct order. So uh, let's start with number one. Manel, would you like to do number one? Okay. Uh, did you go uh, to the cinema last week? Okay, let's write it. Did you go to the cinema last week? Okay, what about number two, Besma? Can you do number two? Yes. Uh, did you see a Bond film last year? All right. Did you see a Bond film last year? Okay. So, Sabine, what about number three? Can you make it into a question? Did you watch? A film on TV last week. Right, that's it. Did you watch a film on TV last weekend? Good. And the last question, Omnomedia, can you do the last question? Yes. Did you want to be an actor when you were a child? Right. Let's write it. Did you want to be an actor? Okay. All right, very nice. Now let's confirm your answers. I think they're all correct, but let's go to the listening track and let's find out if we need to change anything. Okay, so. I think not CD3, maybe CD2. No. CD2, we need CD2, not 3. Right. 
Okay, here it is. <clears throat> face to face elementary. CD2. I'd like a tuna salad, please. My family still lives Forget. it. Forgot. Spend... Phuket's probably safer, too. Started. Mike saw that the dog was very. Ill. 32 people died in flood. Holiday last week. Hi, Ma. Oh, great. I worked all weekend. Really? You're joking. A margarita. So that's one pizza margarita. On holiday last week. Yes, that's right. And we've got a new double bed. What's your address? Yeah. Oh, thanks, David. Kids went swimming in the sea. Welcome to On the Page. Uh -huh. Today's first we'll know about James Bond, of course. But what can you tell us? One. Four. Did Fleming and Bond go to the same school? Recording 7.4. Mm, OK, so uh, let's listen to the previous recording and then we'll go down because I don't want to move it and lose the track again. So uh, we'll just hear this again one more time, the one about 7.4, and then we'll check our answers. Good afternoon and welcome to On The Page. Today's first guest is writer Will Forbes. Hello. Now, Will, you're the author of a new book about Ian Fleming, the man who wrote the James Bond books. Yes, that's right. We all know about James Bond, of course, but what can you tell us about Ian Fleming? Well, what's interesting is that Ian Fleming's life was quite similar to James Bond's. Really? Did Ian Fleming work for the British Secret Service too? Yes, he did. He joined the Navy as an intelligence officer in 1939. Bond was also in the Navy, of course. Did Fleming have a license to kill? 006, maybe? No, he didn't. But his job was very important. Did he work for the Secret Service after the war? No, he worked for a newspaper as a journalist, and then he became a writer. And what about his early life? Did Fleming and Bond go to the same school? Yes, they did, actually. <laughs> they both went to Eton... And were both very good at sports. Mm -hmm. So Ian Fleming was James Bond? Uh, yes, in a way. <laughs> when did Ian Fleming write the first Bond book? He wrote Casino Royale, the first Bond book, in 1952. Did he make a lot of money? No, he didn't. He died in 1964, only two years after the first Bond film. Ah. Well, thank you for coming to talk to us, Will. Uh, that was Will Forbes, whose new book, The Man Behind Bond, is now on sale in all good bookshops. Mm -hmm. Recording 7.5. Did you go to the cinema last week? Did you see a Bond film last year? Did you watch a film on TV last weekend? Did you want to be an actor when you were a child? OK. So, very nice. All the answers are correct. OK, now let's ask these questions and let's answer them. So... Um, OK, so Manel, you can ask Umnumedia these questions and she will tell you about, uh, she'll tell you a little bit about herself and what she did. Hello? Yes, you can, you can start. You can ask Umnumedia these questions, Manel. Uh, OK. Uh, Umnumedia, uh, did you go to the cinema last week? <clears throat> no, I didn't. Uh, did you see a Bond uh, film last year? Mm, I don't know. You, you can say, I don't remember. You yes, can say. yes mm -hmm. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
did you watch a film on TV last weekend? No, I didn't. Did you want uh, to be an actor when you were a child? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, very nice. Uh, let's see someone else. Um, okay, so uh, Rana, you can ask Sazabi uh, these questions and we can find out a little bit about her. Okay. Uh, did you go to the cinema last week? No, I didn't. Did you see a Bond film last year? No, I didn't. Did you watch a film on TV last weekend? No, I didn't. <laughs> Did you want to be a, a, an actor when you were a child? No, I didn't. Okay. okay. What what did you what did you want to be when you were a child? Did you want to be uh, I don't know maybe uh, an engineer maybe uh, a businesswoman? So to be, what what did you want to be when you were a child? Yeah, in the future. Yes, the thing that you could that you wanted to be in the Felek, okay. So you can say, I want to be, you can use this word, I want to be an astronomer. Or you can say, I want to read, uh, study, sorry. Let's write it here. I want to study astronomy. Astronomy. Mm, very nice. That's great. Mm, okay, so you can see here uh, these questions. The idea is it's a yes, no question. So of course, if you want to ask your friend something about the past, something they did yesterday, last week, last weekend, you can always use a question with did. Did you go out? Did you uh, watch a movie? Did you have uh, a cup of coffee? But the most important thing you have to remember with uh, questions about the past is you have to use infinitive verbs when you ask the question, like here. So we say, did you go? You say, we say, did you see? Did you watch? Did you want? Do you get the idea? It's very yes. important to, to use an infinitive verb. So you can't change it to the past, okay? So, this is important to remember. Um, okay, very nice. So, we can move on. And we can check our next topic. Okay, this is the next track. All right. So, uh, so here we, were, we will talk a little bit about music in this lesson. And we will also continue talking about... Um, the past, the past simple. So it's the same topic. We're still focusing on the past simple, uh, but this time we will also learn a little more about words like ago, last, and in, because these words or these uh, or more these phrases, well, they're words. They're not really phrases, but they're important for the past simple. Just like we used to use. Uh, words like, for example, uh, every weekend, uh, uh, always, sometimes, often uh, with, uh, with the present uh, simple, it's the same thing. We need to use specific words for the past simple. So we will also learn how to do this uh, today, okay? Uh, now, let's start with the first exercise. It says here, listen and put these types of musics in the order you hear them. Mm, okay, so we have uh, some different types of music. Um, so we want to put them in the correct order. So we'll listen to them. We will hear them and, you know, short clips from each type. And we just want to put the number. So the first one, we will listen to rap. 
there's a bit of rap, and then we will try to guess which each type of music is. So let's do this and um, let's find out. So here we go. But first of all, let me read uh, the types of music first. So we have rap, we have rock music, pop music, classical music, we have opera, jazz, dance music, uh, reggae, and rock and roll, okay? So these are the types of music we will hear on the, on the track, and we want to put them in the same order we hear them. This is the idea of the exercise. So we want to guess. So if you don't know them, it's not a big problem. Let's listen. Yes, I did. Uh, these are the answers. No, I didn't. Recording 7.6. One. Two. Okay, what, what's this type of, <laughs> of music? Um, I think rock music. Right, that's correct. Yeah, this was rock. Okay, so rock is number two. Yeah, let's check the mm -hmm. other ones. Three. Okay, what was this one? Does anybody know this one? Maybe classical music. Maybe classical. I think reggae. reggae. Yes, yes, correct. Yeah, this is reggae. Reggae music, yes. Reggae. Yes, reggae, yes. Reggae is actually quite popular in Libya. A lot of uh, a lot of people like reggae in Libya. Uh, Sudan, do they like? Uh, do people like uh, reggae uh, a lot, Manan? No. No, they don't like reggae. In Libya, many people uh, love reggae. Many young people like reggae. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> now let's. What 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 what's the most popular music in Sudan? Um, uh, classic music, uh, I think. Mm. Uh, okay. I will and then I hear some Hajij. Hajij, يعني زي زي غني تقليدية يعني. لا لا الهجي دي الغاني السريعة فال الدانس بتكون بسرعة. هجي بعد الأعراس. اه ده اكيد زي حتى احنا عندنا زي الزمزمات ممكن نفس القصه لا نقول على اغاني هاجي جاي اها ممكن شبيهه احنا عندنا نوع من الاغاني الخاصه بالاعراس يعني حتى هي محبوبه يعني من في هذا الناس يعني كثير من الناس يحبوها يعني امم اوكي اوكي ليتس ليتس تشيك نمبر 4 وات تايب اوف ميوزك از نمبر 4 4 Opera music. Opera. Yes, this is opera music, correct? Yeah. Okay, let's check number five. Five. Opera and roll. Yes. Correct, yeah, that's rock and roll. So number five is rock and roll. Let's see number six. Six. Jazz. Yes. Yeah. Jazz. Correct, that's jazz. Now let's check number seven. Seven. Dance music. Dance music. Dance music. Correct. Yeah, that's dance music. 
Number seven was dance music. Mm, we still have two. Let's see. Eight. Classical. classical. Correct. Classical. Yeah, that was classical music. Number eight was classical. And the last one is pop, I think. Pop music. Nine. Okay. So these are different types of music. So, um, okay. Wh which is your favorite from from this list, from these nine types of music? What, what do you like best? And which one you don't like very much? What about you, Mane? Your, what's your favorite? Mm, I, I like um, classical music. Mm -hmm. And I like um, pop music. Uh -huh. uh, I don't like opera. OK. Uh, because uh, lo loud voice. Yeah, lots of sound people is, uh, shouting. Yes, uh, <laughs> sound is very high. Yes. Uh, just uh, I, I, I haven't uh, much uh, information about um, the type of uh, music English. Mm. But do, do you have a favorite, uh, maybe a favorite singer or a favorite band? Do you like? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, band is uh, Backstreet Boys. You like Backstreet Boys? Uh, yes. Mm, nice. The uh, singer is um, Shakira. Okay. Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Madonna. Uh huh. Ah, yes. so you mean it means you like pop music a lot? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, that's great. Uh huh. Anyone else you like? No. Okay. Compre compressors, uh, I don't know. Composers, Arabic, uh, yes. composers uh, mm -hmm. Arabic, okay. I don't know English. Uh, composers, uh, I think uh, Fayrouz's husband, uh, Al Rahbani, all of them are composers, I think. Um, yes, uh, her uh, family. Dirwish, I think. Dirwish. Yes, he's also. Abdul Wahab, yes. Uh -huh. These are composers, yeah. Yes. So, can you explain the meaning of composer? In English? Uh, uh, yes, no? um, okay. Uh, composers, uh, uh, they, uh, they are uh, people mm -hmm. who, co who compose uh, all, uh, all kinds of uh, medals. Who, who compose? Compose all kinds uh -huh. of uh, medals. Medals? Medals, yes, Alhan. Elhan, melodies, melodies. Melodies, yes, yes. Melodies. melodies, yes. Correct, sir. Uh, and if we, if you want to say it in an easier way, we can say uh, we can say composers they write music, right? Yes, yes. So a Find composer, music. yeah, a composer is someone who mulahan or muallif musiqi composer. Yes, same yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, what about you, Rana? Is there a, a, a favorite? Do you have a favorite type of music? Do you like any of these uh, different types of music? Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? Like, uh, my favorite is pop music mm -hmm. and jazz. You like jazz? Yes. Do you know Miles Davis? No. No. Oh, he's a very famous jazz musician. Okay, so you like jazz, you like pop music. And I don't like opera. You also don't like opera? Mm -hmm. Yes. But but do you have a favorite? Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I don't like uh, rock music. You don't like rock music? I think rock is good for studying, right? It's lots of, lots of energy. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you study. Uh, what about, uh, do you have a favorite singer, maybe, or a favorite uh, band? No. No. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, anyone else has maybe a favorite singer or a favorite band? Maybe uh, 
CCP's or Omni Media. Um, no. No, you don't have a favorite singer or a band. Okay, so um, these are different types of music, of course, and um, some people like uh, different types. Some people don't like music. I think it's different uh, depending on your personality, I think. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about um, the, the pastime phrases now. So what we want to do is we want to put this list in the correct order. Okay, so we want to put it in the correct order, starting from the closest to the present to the oldest. Okay, so, so the first one is five minutes ago. What's number two? The day before last month. <clears throat> uh, the day is before yesterday. Okay, so the day before yesterday. Last month. Last month. Uh, last month. Okay. Last year. Last year. Mm -hmm. Last year. About uh, in the eighties. In the eighties. In the eighties. Okay. Uh, Dictor, في صوت بتاع هوا ما عارفه مين؟ ما نشوف المجرم نبحث عليه زي روايات شيرلوك هومز. مش منك يا منال ومش من هو مش من سلسبي. إن شاء الله ما يكونش مني. لا منك يا ميديا. آه ممكن المايك او السماعه لا جهازي محصل ضربه ونص الشاشه مكسره اه فهمتك لكن انت حاليا تستعملي في سماعه ولا من غير سماعه سماعه هل آه السماعه بلوتوث بشحن لا خيط يعني خيط اي آه هل هل مرشوق في الشحن حاليا تليفونك لا امم غريب اوكي نطلع ونخش تاني ايه جربي ممكن ي... ممكن يتنحى الصوت يعني تمام لان في العاده الصوت ما فيش مشكله قبل يعني لا ما هو التليفون اليومين هادو محصل هذا ربع اه اوكي آه. امم اوكي سو ان ذا 80s نمبر 5 وات اباوت نمبر 6 ان فبراير 1964 Okay, so in February 1964, mm, number seven? Nine, 1946. Okay. Next one. Uh, about about uh, 18 years. Uh, uh, about 18 years ago. Okay. Ago. 80 years ago. About uh, two uh, two hundred fifty years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, in the sixteenth century. In the sixteenth yes. century, correct. So this means in the sixteenth century. This is the oldest, the oldest uh, uh, history or the oldest date we have in this box, and the most recent or the closest one to the present, it's, uh, where is it? Five minutes ago, right? But all of them are in the past. So 16th century or five minutes ago, it makes no difference in grammar. Both of them are in the past, okay? Now, now here we have uh, some, some music history in this, uh, in the next part of reading. And we want to use all of these phrases. So the phrases in the box here, we want to use them to answer exercise B. Okay. So let me move to exercise B here. And uh, uh, in the 80s, 
in the 80s في الثمانينات معنا ثمانينيات 80s 90s 70s so in english sometimes uh لما يتكلموا على العقد يقولوا مثلا 19 the 1950s the 1960s the 1970s and sometimes they put an s they say the 1970s the 1980s they say the 1990s right and sometimes they just say 90s the 90s the 90s uh, the 80s sometimes they write it without the numbers they say the 90s the 90s the, the 70s for example I think we use it in the in Arabic as well, right? Stamina fa angulu fi sabainat fi tamaninat uh sainat nasl fikran. Okay, so this is the meaning of the 80s. Um this is the meaning of the 80s. Um okay, now let's read a little bit about uh, some music history. Of course, uh you can guess if you don't know the answer you can just guess and use some of the the time phrases um, okay so let's see if i can show you all of the answers okay man i have to zoom out okay okay now you can see all of them So let me explain the exercise. So we want to use all of these words. We want to use them to answer this exercise, okay? So uh, take a few minutes and choose your answers and then we'll find out, uh, we'll confirm the answers together, okay? So we will go to page 100, okay, 58. Okay. So you can start. Mm -hmm. And when you're, when you're ready, just say, Uh, we're ready and we can check. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's let's see your guesses. So let's start with Mozart. So yeah. Mozart write, wrote his first symphony. Uh, about uh, 250 years ago. Mm, okay, so you think... Because, uh, Because Mozart was in the 18, 18th century. Ah, okay. So, so Mozart is 
or was in the 18th century. So maybe you're right, uh, best man. Let's put number one here. Okay, what about number two, the first electric guitar? When was the first electric guitar made? Who can guess? Mm, what do you think, Omnimedia? The first electric guitar, when was it made? What do you think? You can guess, of course, because we don't really know. We just want to guess. I think in the 16th century. 16th century, you think? Mm, okay. Mm, who, who maybe disagrees? Who thinks not in the 16th century? I think in uh, the uh, 20th century, but uh, the year. Ah, uh, okay. So, so you think it's uh, in, in this century, uh, best man? I mean, the last century. The last, the last mm -hmm. century, yes. Mm. But oh. I don't know that. Okay. Mm. Mana, what do you think? When do you think the first electric guitar was made? Mm. I think uh, about uh, 80, uh, 80, 80 years ago. Maybe 80 years ago? Yes. Mm, okay. So we have different answers. So some of you think this one, uh, Omnomedia thinks the 16th century. So we'll have to check. Okay. Uh, what about the Beatles? The Beatles' first concert in the USA. When was it? The Beatles in uh, uh, the 60s. Uh, the, then uh, uh, in February 1964. Uh, sure. Ah, uh, okay. So the Beatles maybe they were in the 60s. Is this what you think, Besma? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, what about the first opera? The first opera in Florence, Italy. When it was, was it? Very old. It was the sixteenth century. century. Mm, okay, so the operas are old. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so Manan and Besme think in the sixteenth century, maybe. By the way, what does it mean, century? Sixteenth century. What does it mean? Karn? Uh, Karn. 100 uh, yeah. yeah, the word century means Karn. So when we say 1600, 16th century, this is what we mean. Uh, uh, 15, uh, 15 and 1, 15, 10, 15. Yes, from 1501 to 600. 1 to 6. Yes, correct. This is the 1600, the 16th uh, century, correct? So it starts from 1500 to the 1600. Mm. Mm, okay. Now, what about uh, Elvis Presley? When did he get his first guitar? What do you think? Was it last year? Now the suitable, suitable and monastic. Mm -hmm. Yes, in 1946. 1946, so 1946 for number five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need to check these answers, of course, because we're not sure. Mm, are you sure of your answers, uh, Basma? Uh, I'm sure for uh, the Beatles and mm -hmm. Mozart. Ah, so you're sure of number one and three. You yes. think uh, Mozart 250 years ago and the Beatles 1964. Yes. Mm, okay, okay. Now let's let's take a look. Let's uh, let's check your answers and let's find out. So let's go together to page 158. And let's see. Okay. 
Okay, here are the answers. So it says that Mozart wrote his first symphony 250 years ago, about 250 years ago, in 1764. And he was only eight years old. Hmm. Okay, and then it says uh, Rickenbacker and Bouchon made the first electric guitar about eight years ago in uh, 1931. Uh, the Beatles' first concert is in 1964. The first opera was in the 16th century in 1598 and Elvis, Elvis's mother bought him his first guitar in 1946. So this means all of the answers are correct, right? Yes. Yeah, so these are Basma and uh, I think Manel's answers, most of them. Okay, very nice. So this means we can go back and check our next question because all of these were correct. Number two, we finished number two correctly. Now here in number, uh, where's number three? Okay, the extract side. Let's check number four here. Let's talk a little bit about uh, question words, okay? So um, here it says, match the question words to the things um, they ask about. So we want, this is a matching exercise really. So we want to match each question with the right person. Okay, so who is for a person? Yes. What uh, about where? A place. 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 Okay. When? Time. 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 What about why? Because. A reason. Yeah, reason because, because a this. reason. And whose? Was that if? Yes. Who's? Good, good. Okay. What about a witch? Anything. Mm. Okay. But, but we have two answers. We have a thing here, F, and we have a thing, J. Which one? Think from small small number of possible answers. You think J, Basma? Yes. Yes, J. Mm, okay. So this yes. means what? Number. The F. I think from many number answers. number what? Answers. Number. Yes. Number how many? How many? Yes. Suitable answers, which? Which, you know, we usually use it for a thing with, with a few answers. For example, um, if I ask you, uh, which do you prefer, coffee or tea? So which usually the options are small, the number of options, mm -hmm. get the idea, but what? If, for example, I ask you, what country do you like? Mm -hmm. So many countries in the world. So in reality, which and what, they're close. They're not very different, you know, almost the same. Uh, but which, it means, اختيارات أقل. يعني ممكن بالعربية, which, أي منهم تفضل مثلا? عادة يعني. Few choices. Few choices. خيارات أقل, صح? What, uh, أي, أي بلد, uh, what country do you, do you like? أي بلد تحب, so you can choose any country you, you like. Yeah. Okay, now what about, uh, ah, بالنسبة لسؤالك منال, how many بالنسبة للنمبرز? So if okay. I ask you, how many cars have you got? Yes. How many pencils have you got? or how many glasses of water have you got? So I want the number. This is, this yes. is how many. Um, how long? Oh, the period of time. Correct. And how old? Age. Age. Right. Correct. That's it. 
Now there's a little summary. Let's see if there's anything extra in the summary. Uh, the answers are correct, but let's take a look at the summary. Let's check. Mm -hmm. Ah, we have examples, very nice. Okay, let's let's read the examples. So with who, who's that man over there? It's Michael. With where, where did you go last week? To Germany. Mm, and with when? When does the lesson start at two o'clock? Why are you late? Because I missed the bus. Whose shoes are these? They're Susan's. Uh, okay. And which do you like? The red shirt or the blue shirt? The red shirt. يعني لاحظوا حتى في المثال. يعني اللي يسأل خير الصاحبة يعني أطلع خيارين حاجتين فقط. ممكن أكثر بس يعني ممكن ثلاثة ما فيش مشكلة. بس الخيارات عادة صغيرة يعني عددها. Okay, now number next one. What? What do you want to do tonight? Let's watch a DVD. يعني الخيارات متعددة ممكن أي شيء يقدرون نديرو. Go to a restaurant, go to the cinema, go to the park, stay at home, play video games, play sport, anything. Okay, how many people are there in your class? 12. How long did you work in Russia? For two years. Mm. <laughs> how old is your teacher? She's about 30. Okay, let's check the tips. It says we often answer why with because. Okay, thank you. I think this is clear. We often ask how long. Mm. Okay. So if someone asks you a question with how long, in the answer, you can use for. So for example here, how long have you been studying English? Okay, this is present perfect. For five years mm. or for two years. I've been studying English for two years. I've been studying, but you don't have to use the present perfect. There is no present perfect. Did we study present perfect? No. Uh, no. This is elementary, yes. Mm. Okay. You can use uh, you can use how long at the little present yeah, how long uh, how long do you take to um, for example make lunch how long do you take to get to school? This is present simple, right? How long do you take to get to school? I take 10 minutes. Like, I don't know if I did four. It's not exactly the same. How long did you? Ah, the past simple. Mm. Yeah. How long did you work in Russia for two years? Mm. Okay, okay. Now, I have two questions for you. Um, so let me show you my questions. OK. So this is the first question. So now this is the first question. The second question.
Okay, now let's start with the with the first two questions. So um, whose company is that and who's the manager of that company? Is it is it uh, the same or is it different the meaning or is is one of them correct and the other not correct? What do you think of these first two questions? Different, different meaning. Okay, what's what's the meaning of the first question? Uh, was this if uh, uh, whose company is that? Yani? Okay. Uh, uh, yes, yani. Imana, hag minu. Okay. Milk minu, hag minu, shariket minu. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And the who second. Is, um, yes, who is who's manager of that company? Uh, uh, Aska is um, a person, named person. Okay. Mm, yes. We're asking about a person, but but also, uh, I Maybe mean... The, sometimes the, uh, the same. The manager uh, uh, is uh, the owner. owner. Okay, but let me change, okay. let me, let me change this. So I want to say, uh, what about now? Is it is it the same or is it a different question? Same. same. The same. Okay. Correct. Um, Okay, I'm just hearing some noise. Okay, um, Marana. And Mara Hadi, Miss Mindy, come on the media. She Muslim Tani. There's another criminal. Tan should do a room many. Munkan Mana and it's Muslim Tani. Allah, Allah, Dictor, the Samadi Gibida, the Samad Delta, who the Gibida. أنا لا ما سمع صوت أحكي ما تكون من إنه ما سمع إزعاج. أنا خايف إن تطلع مشكلة مني أنا لكن اللي حتى وما ممكن مش مني. Okay, I have a I have a question for uh, Rana. Rana, um, what's the what's the the meaning of the first question in Arabic? If you want to translate it, whose company is that? How how do we translate that in Arabic? Um, I don't Uh, company, uh, Shariga. Uh, had this Shariga milk mini. Okay, okay. And the second question, um, mini milk had this Shariga. Okay, correct. Now, correct, that's correct, Rana. Now, how do you answer that, Sabir? Matalan ala Sabir Mital. Let's say, Matal, inti sahab, inti sahab al sharika. Yani, hanik bo ismik, Sabir. بالنسبة لي ملكية الشركة. Yani, how do you answer this question when we say whose company is that? What do we say? كيف حتكون إجابة؟ هل حنك بو سبيل فقط؟ أو نضيف عليها حاجة أو what do you think Sabin for uh, the first question how do you answer it mm, okay let's see someone else uh, Omnomedia how do we answer the first question the first question with whose whose company is it Let's say it's uh, Salsabil's company. Kif, kif Hanjabu. Okay. Uh huh. So I can, مثلاً لو فرضاً هي شركتك أنتي. Okay. Whose company is that? Let's say it's your company. Okay. So how do we answer the first question? Um, uh, 
Yes, it's sensibles, right? So we have to use possessive apostrophe. Sel, sensibil. Do you write it like this, your name? Or with an I? Are you? Like this? No, one I, one Like this? With an I. Yes, yes. Okay, so it's Salsabil's. You can say Salsabil's company, but the um, company It's Salsabil's. Okay, but how do we answer the second question, Salsabil? He uh, owner Malik or Malik. Manager. Yeah, like manager. مش نفس المعنى لأن أحيانا المانجر يكون موظف عند الملك الملك هو صاحب الشركة نفرض أنك أنت مالكة الشركة كيف حيكون الجواب Who's the owner of that company Here we don't need to write. Uh, we can say Salsa Bil is uh, the owner. This حتى Salsa Bil فقط خلاص. Because the question with who it's asking about a person. Do you get the idea? Will is هذه مجرد verb to be. يعني كأن نقوله من يكون صاحب الشركة أو من تكون صاحبة الشركة. Right? فهنا عندنا قصة الverb to be الكينونة. That's why we have to use a name, a person. Uh, the first one, it's for possession. ملكية. Alright? Okay, now. Next question. What's the... Is, are these the same or different? Who can tell me? Are they the same meaning or are they different? It's different, but I don't, uh, I am not sure. Okay. What do you think the difference is? Uh, the difference, the, the, uh, the first one, mm -hmm. uh, I, work, I worked in Libya and left Libya. Okay. Maybe, maybe the second. I worked in Libya, but I'm still in Libya. Maybe. Mm. No. Okay. This is actually uh, um, kind of correct. Yes. Or I have just left. Left. Yani. Ghadarat min patra qariba. Okay, okay. What do you think, Omnomedia? The difference between the two questions? Uh, we can't hear you. Hello. 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 لو تقدري تغيري اي من التعديلات لان ما فيش صوت نهائي اوكي منى what do you think are they the same or are they different and what's the difference لو في فرق يعني لو different uh, the first uh, uh, sentence. Um, I will go to ولا ولا I will go to Arabic. I will go to Arabic. I will go to 
في ليبيا كم يعني انت انت ما زلت بتشتغل هذا الاول او الثاني لا الاولى بتشتغل والثاني انت اشتغلت وانتهيت يعني كم اشتغلت في ليبيا اه اوكي انا اجابتك يعني في رايك عكس هذا عكس كلام بسمه اوكي هذا راي ثاني جود ميبي يور رايت نرجع ل رنا وات دو يو ثينك Do you have any um, guesses? You can guess if you're not sure, of course. Or do you think maybe they're the same meaning? Mm, yes. The same meaning, you think? Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Uh, Omnimedia, هل رجع عندك الصوت? Hello? ما زال ما نسمعوش فيك. لا لا لا. اوكي. باين ما عندك مشكلة في التليفون. اوكي نو بروبلم. Now let me show you the, the difference. Uh, بسمة. اه اوكي امنو ميديا سي رنا متفقة مع رنا ان نفس المعنى. Uh, اعتقد كلام بسمة حوالي نقولوا maybe 95% correct okay صح الفكرة أكثر من أنها يعني ممكن يكونوا ذا السيناريو اللي تكلمت عليه أن غادروا غادروا ليبيا مثلا لو حنرسموهم حنعملوا توا التايم لاين اوكي للتوضيح نزيد نوضحه اوكي تشيك ذيس Now, uh, now this is the first example, okay? <laughs> okay. This is number one. So, this is this is the present, okay? Mm. So, so, مثلاً هذا الحاضر. هذا الحاضر now this is now okay and الفترة اللي اشتغلت فيها maybe here to here السنتين okay السنتين مش معروفات بالضبط أم أم يعني بس مثلا على سبيل المثال uh, maybe in 2010 because you know قال سنتين right two years Uh, 2012 مثلا انك مش مش بالضروره يعني اي سنتين في الماضي اوكي uh, طبعا here this is the beginning the beginning of uh, the action okay just uh, just a second let me check my cat i'll be back okay just a second okay Okay, so uh, 2010, this is the start uh, of the action. And uh, 2012, this is the end of the action. Okay. 
But this is example number one, by the way. Let's put numbers. So this is number one, and this is number one. Now let's talk about number two. Now, number two, this is the, the timeline, okay? So uh, this is here now. Um, let's put now. So I've worked for two years. This means you started in 2018. Uh, yeah, just a second. Okay. So you started and Okay, now my question is, in the second example, in number two, uh, have you finished work? I mean, are you still working in Libya or did you finish work in Libya? In the second example, me tell Danny. Finish. Still. Uh, 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 Okay, let's go to the first the past simple that we learned, okay? The first So I worked for two years. How long did you work in Libya? I worked for two years. The years that I worked in Libya can be any years. They can be from 2018 to لا من 2017 ل 19 مثلا او من 1990 ل 1992 مثلا اي سنتين yes. بس السنتين هذو دان فينيشت احد الاشياء المهمه جدا في التفرقه على العموم حندرسوا البريزنت بيرفكت في نهايه المستوى هذا uh, في ممكن يونت uh, 12 او او ممكن 11 حناخذ فكره مبسطه على البريزنت بيرفكت بس أهم شيء في الباست سيمبل في الماضي البسيط اللي هي النقطة هذه finished actions أي شيء يتم استعماله في الباست سيمبل معناها finished انتهى الأكشن خلاص okay so if you say I I visited my uncle last weekend خلاص انتهى last weekend وانتهت الزيارة Right? This is present perfect. مختلف شوية. في الحقيقة ما عناش present perfect في العربية يعني ما فيش ترجمة واضحة. يعني هو يعتبر نوع من أنواع الماضي بس في بعض الاختلافات. ف فلهذا المثال الثاني How long have you worked in Libya? I've worked for two years. يعني أنت ما زلت تشتغل في ليبيا. لأن ما توقفش العمل I've worked for two years يعني مازال أنت تشتغل يعني مو لسه يعني مازال فاض الموضوع يعني كأن إحنا في ليبيا نقولوا ليا عامين نشتغل كم ليك تخدم ليا ليا سنتين نخدم بس أنت قاعد تخدم ما وقفتش أما أما ال past simple اللي هو اشتغلت أو خدمت سنتين وانتهت القصة انتهى موضوع عملك في ليبيا وبس ما لما قالت ان انت خ... طلعت من ليبيا في العاده صحيح ممكن شخص سيب ليبيا او سافر وممكن وممكن حتى لو موجود داخل ليبيا بس خلاص موضوع الشغل انتهى هو هو السر كله في الفيرب اللي هو الفيرب ورك الورك خلاص انتهى انتهى موضوع الورك ذا اكشن از اوفر سواء هو ذا باست اند اندت ان ذا باست كوركت سواء هو قاعد في ليبيا او لا هذا كان موضوع اضافي يعني بس كعمل خلاص ما عادش في عمل المثال الثاني ما زال الشخص يشتغل بدا من من سنتين وما زال يشتغل يعني, يعني آه نفرق كيف يعني لما تدخل مثال اول ديد معناه فينيشينج كان ذا وورك صح الديد والباست سيمبل اللي هو موضوع الدرس اللي اللي فات لا درس جيمس بوند والدرس الحالي 
للفينيشد اكشنز اللي هو الماضي البسيط زي الماضي اللي نستعمله فيه في اللغه العربيه اللي هو الاشياء اللي انتهت خلاص انا زرت صديقتي زرتها وانتهت الزياره خلاص اي ستاديد انجلش دي ستاديد وانتهيتي لان لان في فرق كبير بين اي ستاديد انجلش اي اللي هي هذه الجديده اللي اللي مازال ما درسناهاش يعني انا يعني كمعلومه فقط يعني ما نعم يعني هنا في الجملة الثانية الـ have worked في الـ past perfect present perfect اسم القاعدة present perfect present perfect مش past يعني ما عندهاش علاقة في الـ past هي هي فيها علاقة بالـ past لكن هي التسمية نفسها مخادعة أصلاً هو مسمينها present perfect بس هي في الحقيقة تمس في الماضي يعني هو ممكن مسمينها present لأن لأن ال 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 القاعدة أن تربط في الماضي بالحاضر في نوع من الربط يعني. إيه بالضبط إيه لما يعني هو سؤال كان لل كفن بس يعني مش مش. لا الـ past perfect موضوع ثالث موضوع موضوع آخر past perfect لكن إحنا مبدئيا ح يعني حيكون عندنا في المستقبل إن شاء الله في المستوى هذا حنتكلم أكثر عن الـ present perfect آه، أوكي على العموم يعني إجاباتكم كلها صحيحة which is good هي دي أهم حاجة very nice so let's do the next exercise so we talked about question words Now we have a bit of a quiz here, it says, uh, about music. It says, work in pairs, look at the quiz. And then it says, fill in the gaps with the question words, then choose the correct answers. So let me show you the, the quiz here. So the quiz, it says, are you a musical genius? What does this word mean, genius? Does anybody know the meaning of this word, genius? Who can explain it in English when we say someone is a genius? genius. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Basma? I heard the, the word, but... Uh... Ah, you've heard it before. Yeah. Yes, correct. Someone who's very uh, smart or correct, yes, this is the meaning. Yes, but what do they mean here, musical genius? What do you think they mean? The Manguru musical genius. What do you think the meaning is? Um, uh, information have uh, um... correct. Do you have? Yes. A lot, a lot of um, information. Correct. Do you have a lot of information about music? Do you know a lot about music? This is the this is the this is the question. Now the question is two parts. Okay. The first part is we have to use a question word to fill in the gaps. Can you see the gaps? Yes. So we have ten gaps, and to complete the, these gaps, we have to use question words. Can you see that? The 10 question words? Yes. So, so we want to use these 10 question words. We want to use them to complete the quiz. Who, where, when, why, who's, which, what, how many, how long, and how old. So we want to use all of these to complete uh, the quiz. So, and after you complete the quiz, extra, idafi. Just guess, okay? مجرد guessing اللي هي في الإجابات يا إما A, B, or C. After you use, after you use a question word, after you put a question word, use the correct question word here in the gaps, you have to choose the correct answer. Is it A, is it B, or is it C? طبعاً هذا حيكون guess. على حسب معلوماتكم الموسيقية of course. Do you get the, do you understand the question? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave you for a minute until you finish this. I'll be back in a second and I'll check your answers and I also check your guesses. If you don't know the guesses, just choose any guess if you don't know, okay? It's not very, very important, but it's important to answer the question correctly. Use the right question word for the questions, okay? Okay, so you can start. Do you have a question, Omnimedia? Mm, okay. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Yes, I finished.
Okay, hello? hello. Okay, have you finished? Yes. Was it, was it easy or hard? Hard. Mm. Hard? You think it was hard? Yeah. Uh, 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 you mean hard uh, the, the question words or hard uh, the, the guesses? Guesses. Ah, okay, okay. Mm, all right, so let's see some of your answers. <gasps> Excuse me. Let's start with, uh, mm, okay, Sezebil, would you like to do number one? Okay, number one, I think what? You think what? Maybe. Mm, but what about the answer? What, what does the answer say? The options, I mean, it says in the 70s, uh, in the 80s, and in the 90s. What does it mean, 70s, 80s, 90s? What does it mean? When? Um, why did you change when? I don't know. But but 70s, 70s, 80s, 90s. What's... Okay. معناها دو سنوات صح؟ yeah. Okay, so what do we use for years? Uh... يعني لو السؤال بالعربي كيف حيكون؟ متى؟ صح؟ متى؟ Correct. And in English, which question is uh, متى؟ أما سؤال فيه متى؟ In the قائمه هذه this one which one is متى اما واحده فين mm -hmm. when correct صح so do you want to use when yeah okay so let's use when and what about the answer what do you think You think the 80s, okay, let's choose 80s. All right, now what about number two? Um, Manal, what did you use for number two? We are. Okay, and what do you think the answer is? I don't know, I think uh, USA. USA, maybe, okay. Mm. Mm. All right, what about question number three? Besma, um, you can do question number three. Yes, what, what did Sting do before he became a singer? Okay, and what do you think he did? I will choose A. A? Yes. Okay. All right. And what about number four, Omnimedia? What's the right answer? Mm, we can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> I'm just checking the chat. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so Omnimedia, I can't hear you, but which? Ah, okay. So which, maybe which, let's write which. So which, uh, and, and what's the answer? What do you think the answer is? Which instrument does he play? What do you think, Omnimedia? Okay, guitar. Let's choose guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, now question number five, Rana, what do you think? How long? Okay, and what do you want to choose? Which answer? Uh, B, for 10 years. Okay, okay. Mm. And 
and um, Rana, what about number six? Um, uh, <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's see. Maybe Zabil can answer this one. Number six, Zabil. Which question is this? Uh, how many? How many? Mm. Mm. How many what? Usually when we say how many, we usually ask about how many something, right? Yeah. But here we don't have, we don't have a noun to ask about. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, okay, you can do number seven, says to be. What about number seven? Which was the first finger to have a number one? Finger. But we but we used which stamina? Ah, uh, yeah, love and stamina. Yes. Um, uh, who? Okay. Who was? the first singer to have a number one album and film in the USA at the same time. Who? Which option? A, B, or C? I don't know. Can, can you make a guess? Maybe you're right. Maybe your guess is correct. Okay, A. A, okay. All right, now, uh, <laughs> let's see, best man, best man, number six. What did you use for number six? Uh, how old was Colombian singer Shakira when she released his first album, Magic? Okay, and, and what do you think? How old was she? Uh, maybe 17. Mm, maybe 17. Okay. Number eight. Manel, what about number eight? How many people were in the switch uh, group? Okay. And how many? How many is? Yes. And, and what's the number? What's the right answer? Uh, I think four. You think okay. four? Yes. Mm. Abba are very famous in the 80s. Do you know them, Mane? What? Do you know ABBA? No. Okay. They were famous in the 80s. Okay, uh, Omnomedia, what about number nine? What did you answer for number nine? What? I think what? But we used what? Whose? Okay, maybe who's? And what do you think the answer is? What's the answer, Manet? Uh, sorry, Omnimedia. A, B, or C, what do you think? Mm, I think B. Okay, you think B. Let's choose B. Okay, and uh, the last one. Mm. Okay, Rana. Uh, we used all of the words except the one, I think. Uh, why? Okay, why? And what do you think the answer is? I think uh, B. Mm, he, he was in hospital? Yes. Mm, okay. Now, let's... I think uh, he's, uh, he was in the army because the army always take 
like uh, two years. Ah, good, good point. Best maybe, maybe best answer is right. Okay, let's underline best answer. Okay, now uh, we're gonna hear two friends actually. Uh, where is it? The question. No, 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 no. It says, listen to two people do the quiz. Check your answers. Okay, so we're gonna hear two friends and uh, they're going to do the, the quiz together. So we will hear their answers and we'll also check ours, okay? So let's listen. Let's listen to the correct answers. Recording 7.7. .7. Hey, do you want to do this quiz? It's called, Are You a Musical Genius? Yes, okay. Read me the questions. Right, the first one. When did Madonna make her first record? Was it in the 70s, the 80s, or the 90s? Um, the 70s, I think. About 1979? Correct! Number two. Where do you two come from? Oh, that's easy. They're from Ireland. <laughs> yes, that's right. Question three. What did Sting do before he became a singer? Was he a teacher, a writer, or an actor? Uh, an actor? No, sorry. He was a teacher. The next one's easy, though. Which of these instruments does Elton John play? The, the piano. Correct! Number five. How long were the Beatles together? Was it for five, ten, or fifteen years? Um, let me think. Uh, fifteen years? No, only ten years, from 1960 to 1970. Right, the next one. How old was Colombian singer Shakira when she released her first album, Magic? Was she 13, 17, or 22? I've got no idea, but my guess is 13. Yes, that's right. Oh. Well done. Number seven. Who was the first singer to have a number one album and film in the USA at the same time? Was it Eminem, Jennifer Lopez, or David Bowie? I don't know. Uh, David Bowie? No, it was Jennifer Lopez in 2001. The film was called The Wedding Planner, and the album was J-Lo. Next one. How many people were in the Swedish group ABBA? Four. Two women and two men. Correct. Whose real name is, or was, Farouk Bulsar? Was it A, George Michael, B, Bob Dylan, or C, Freddie Mercury? Well, I know it's not Bob Dylan. Was it George Michael? No, it was Freddie Mercury. Mm. Right, the last question. Why didn't Elvis Presley make any records between 1958 and 1960? Ah, I know this. He was in the army. Correct. So your final score is 6 out of 10. Sorry. Why? Well, I got 10 out of 10. I don't believe you. I did. Look. Okay. <laughs> so how, how many did we get correct? I think we got uh, number three is correct, right? Number three, our guess is correct. And uh, number five is correct. And number eight. Number eight. Yes. And then the last one, Besma also corrected it. Let's count it. So four. Yes. So we, we got four, <laughs> four out of ten. Are, are, are we musical geniuses? Yeah. Uh, your no. students are uh, genius. <laughs> <laughs> but geniuses, but not in music. They're not musical geniuses. Yes. Maybe, maybe geniuses in, in English, but not in music. Okay, yes. so this is, this is general, you know, general information about, uh, about music, musicians. Uh, okay, okay. Now, now let's take a look here. We have a little bit of, uh, I think, a little bit of follow-up questions. And a bit of grammar too. This is a revision for yes, no questions. Um, but here it's mixed, okay? In this question, it's mixed. It's not past simple only or present simple only. It's both of them. But you have to decide when to use the, the present um, simple and 
when to use the past simple, okay? So you have to decide uh, which one to use. For example, I'm going to show you a tip to help you, okay? So it's a good idea to check if you have any, you know, time phrases like this. Can you see these words? Yes. So, yes. so when you see last, are, does it mean the present or the past? Past. 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 Very good. Okay. يعني هذه من لول موضوع حسب. So if you see last, it's the it's the past. And if you, for example, what about this? What about this? A child. So is it is it present past. or past? Past. Correct. Present. Past. Past. Are you a child now, Manal? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the question is asking about when you were a child, right? Ah. In the language, when you were This is this is. This is the idea. فكرة الدرس هذا من الأول لو تلاحظوا هنا في البداية الدرس أرجع لكم شوي هذا يعتبروا time phrases اللي هي past time phrases يعني جمل أو يعني عبارات أو كلمات تستخدم مع الباست يعني أوتوماتيكيا لما تلاقوا الكلمات هذه يعني مفروض تفكيركم حيمشي على طول للباست simple لو أسئلة على الطفولة last ago هذه الأسئلة يعني عادة أو العبارات الكلمات تدل على الماضي البسيط okay yes uh, now let's do the questions together okay so let's go back down so number one uh, <laughs> did you go to any concerts last year so it's a yes no question for example, let's say yes, because uh, yes, okay? Because we also want to follow up question in part C. We want to use the, the follow up question. Now, what about number two? What's the correct do you answer? Listen, do you listen to lots of different types of music? Correct. It's present simple. Do you listen? Because this is now. Okay, so let's write them. Let's write the questions. Okay, let's put the questions here. Okay, so the first question, number one, number two, I mean, do you listen to different to lots of different, uh, lots of different types of music. Uh, okay, Omnu Media, ala sabin mital ijaba yes. Can you can you see the follow up question? Can you see this follow up question? So al mutaba hada follow up question. Can you see it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, mm, what kind of music? Finish it. What kind of music? What kind of music uh, uh, do you listen to? Very good. What kind of music do you listen to? Okay, um, Sabir, what about number three? Okay, did you watch, did you watch musical when you a child? Okay. So I did it, but okay. Who I think verb to be. لو عندك verb to be أنا ممنوع استعمل did يعني نقول was صح 
سوري في يمكن حاجه ما وضحتهاش كل الاسئله حتسال حت يعني حتسالها بيو عرفتي يعني كل الاسئله حتكون باستعمال يو يعني كانك تسالي في انا اوكي هو في بي مرتين علاش Good question. Okay, هو الحقيقة رقم ثلاثة ممكن أصعب واحد فيهم. Okay, خلي رقم ثلاثة سيزبي. You can do number four. Can you do number four? ثالث أصلاً صعب شوي. مش صعب في في تغيير يعني صاير. What about number four? This one is easy. Did you went to club last month? Okay. But uh, شنو نحن اتفقنا في الأسئلة بخصوص الأفعال شنو نديره للفعل؟ نحاول uh, did لا did صح did you is correct ف it's, it's okay بعدها بعد did you went in, in the question do we use the past or do we use the infinitive Ah, did you go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you go to a club last night? Good. Did you go to? Can you finish it? Uh -huh. A club. 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 Nadi. Oh, uh, Marcus. Lady. Yeah. Club. Uh, last month. Okay. Last month. Okay, that's correct. Now, what about the follow-up question, Saisabi? So I'll متابعه. مثلاً فرضاً عايزبي المثال كانت الإجابة yes. شن حيكون the follow-up question? What did you do? شوفي فوق موجود. يبدأ ب يبدأ ب where. Where you go? Mm, city has. Ah. Uh. Well, you asked me. You said, "Have you been to the Nadi last month?" For example, the answer you gave "Yes, yes, I did." For instance, you asked me, "Where did you went?" Same thing as the first one. Where did? Where did you go? Yes, correct. Where did you go? Where did you go? Went, we cannot use it in questions or negative. Went, went fil positive faqat. I went to my uncle's house uh, last Friday. I went to school. I went to the beach. I went to the supermarket. Tamam. لكن في الأسئلة وفي النيجاتيف ممنوع استعمال الصيغة الماضية. Okay, very nice, that's very good. Okay, بسمة, can you do number three, please? Yes. Were you musical when you were a child? Nice, excellent. Were, were you musical when you were? A child. And what about the follow-up question? For example, let's say I said yes. Yes. Uh, uh, which instruments do, uh, did you play? Right. Very good. Which instrument did you play? All right. Very nice. Okay, question number five, Omnomedia. Omnomedia, you did number two. Manal, you can do number five. Mm, uh, present, I'm in a present. Okay. Uh, do you like classic music? Okay, good. Do you like classical music? Yes. Shinhaikun will follow up question. Which? 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 Uh, uh, compressors. 
composers. Do you like? Uh, do good. you like? Yes. Which composers do you like? Good. Composers do. Dictor, I stay in a Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Now number six. Uh, Rana, can you do number six? Did you watch music uh, video on TV? Um, yeah, okay. يمشي حالة بال did. Do you watch? Do you can أفضل رغم أن حتى did صح. Do you يعني أنا نسلب بصفة عامة. Do you watch music videos on TV? And for example, if I say yes, I do. What's the follow-up question? Uh, Can you see it here? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. What? Uh, mm -hmm. What was? But it's in the present. What's the present of was? B. B is the infinitive. What? Uh... Change the was to present. If you say, for example, what? Mm -hmm. What uh, do you be? F -f forget about be. Think of was. What's the present of was and were? What's the present of were? For example, if I ask you, um, if you ask, if I ask you, if Let's say you want to ask me about my friend's name. How do you say this question? Um, what's your friend's name? Uh huh. Correct. What did you use? What? Uh, you. Before you. What? What's your? Yeah. S. How do you mean? what? Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. What's uh, Tama? What? Oh, oh, take it come this way. What? B. Uh, and say B. خلاص دنا هبي. What? What's your? Uh huh. Your crack favorite. Paper. Video. Yes. Now, خلنا نرجع للs مرة تانية. عبارة عن شنو الs هذه؟ اختصار لشني what's um, was لا was ما نقدرش نختصرها. Is. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Very good. Correct. Is. This is the present of was. Is, was, are, were. Sahula. Is and are. This is verb to being the present. Is, am, and are. I am, you are, he is. This is verb to being the present. Be, but tariqa hadi hadi ibar an infinitive. Yani al sigal mustaria. Okay, now number seven. Um, Omnimedia, can you do number seven? Okay. Um, did you buy any CDs last week? Very good. Ulo jawab tekane metalan yes. Shin hai kun follow up question. What did you buy? Very good. Yes. Okay, says so Sabir, what about uh, number eight? Did you listen to Bird? Okay, on the train or bus. Like, we should do. 
لان الناس اللي على الروتين والهابت افضل من رايت اوكي سو دو يو And فرضا مثلا انا قلت لك yes I do شنو حيكون فرض up question what uh, what do you usually listen to good excellent okay فهذا يعتبر يعني نوعا ما مراجعة لل present simple and the past simple. Um, in our next lesson, uh, we'll talk about uh, the past simple. هنستمر وقاعدين نتكلم عن past simple. ما كملناش من الموضوع. Uh, we'll talk about uh, the news, some nice stories. هذا إن شاء الله موضوع حصتنا القادمة. Okay, so thank you for your time and see you again on. On Wednesday, okay? Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye bye. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.